few years ago i made this video on how to use your smartphone as a steering wheel and it has gone really well uh, a lot of positive comments and feedbacks but a couple of problems Firstly, there were a lot of connection issues because the version of the app which I was using in the previous video is kind of outdated now. And uh, you know what, the reference game which I used in that video, Project Cars 2, is uh, it doesn't have any online support anymore. Not sure why, so for some reason, slightly Mad Studios have uh, decided not to, you know, to stop all the online support. It was a good game actually, but not sure why they did it. So I thought of making another video on the same topic. Uh, this time I'm going to use the latest version of the app and, you know what, uh, this time I'm going to choose Acido Corsa as the reference game for demonstrating how to use this app because this game has been uh, in, in the market for a while um, and I believe it's going to be there for a while because it's a proper racing simulator if you ask me. So let's get started. Okay, so if you have watched my previous video on it, you will know how to download and install it and get started. But if you haven't, not an issue at all. Uh, I'll teach you how to download the receiver software, download the app, uh, you know, install it and then build your own custom layout all from scratch in this video. All right, before we get started, you need to do two things. First of all, install the app in your your uh, smartphone, be it Android or Apple device. You just need to go to Play Store or App Store, just type PC Remote, uh, you will be able to find the app. Click and install it, pretty straightforward. Secondly, you will have to install the receiver software in your PC. Um, you know what, you can just Google Monact PC Remote and the first link is probably the official one. Click on it, scroll down, click download. Um, it will show you a couple of links to download and you can click any one of them. Uh, you know, once you click on it, it the download will get started. Installing the receiver software in your PC is also pretty straightforward. Just open up the zip file which you downloaded, uh, choose the language, click, you know, choose the location where you want to install it and then just click install. So now that you have installed the applications both in your smartphone and in your PC and has everything set up, now it's time to move ahead. Uh, before we start building the layout actually, we need to make sure that your smartphone and your PC are connected. There are multiple ways to do this. Uh, one easy way will be to just plug in a USB cable and connect your smartphone and your PC. Then you can just start using the application right away. But if you're going to play games and if you want to be a little bit mobile, uh, it's better that you connect through Wi-Fi. There are uh, again two ways to do this. First way is that you connect, uh, make sure that your smartphone and your PC are both connected to the same Wi-Fi. And the second way is to connect uh, uh, both these devices to, uh, using the hotspot from your smartphone. If you are going to play games personally, I would recommend the second way that is uh, connecting through your uh, hotspot from the same mobile device because this uh, will avoid any lag. So once your smartphone and PC are both connected to the same Wi-Fi, either an external Wi-Fi or through the hotspot from your mobile phone, all you need to do is just open the software, receiver software in your PC and keep it running. And while that is running, just open the Monarch PC remote app in your smartphone. It should automatically get connected without any issues at all. In case if it's not spontaneously getting connected, all you need to do is just click on the connect button on the bottom right uh, part of your screen in your smartphone and you will be able to see your uh, PC's name uh, in the list if they are connected in the same Wi-Fi. Uh, and you just tap on the uh, system where you want to connect and it will get connected without any issue. Once you have made a successful connection, you can actually explore through this app. Uh, this app can do a lot more than just uh, being a steering wheel. Uh, you can go through the layouts, you can go through all the multiple options they have provided to control your PC, you know, be it for PowerPoint presentations or uh, controlling your videos and audios. It has a lot of stuff. It can be a separate video on its own. All right, if all the connections are ready, you can start following this video. Now I'll be starting to create a custom layout for uh, Assetto Corsa.
So that's it. You just learned how to create a custom layout for your own uh, simulator racing game. If you found this interesting, you know what, share this with your friends and uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you love this content. Uh, I'll be making similar uh, instructions, I mean similar guiding videos for uh, multiple other games which you guys have asked me to do. Uh, like I recently received a comment for how to do this, uh, how to do the same setup for Formula 1 2019. I'll be doing it shortly and uh, many other games too. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.